Our voices. Our stories. Our community. Megwitch, Ojibwe, to show gratitude or thanks for kind gestures or actions. National Indigenous Day is an annual celebration of Indigenous culture across Canada. Every major city and community in the country hosts festival events which serve to remind Canadians of the First Peoples of Canada. From music performances to hoop dancing, bannock baking and powwows, the Indigenous cultural experience is shared by Canadians from coast to coast. The heart of the Indigenous experience is in Winnipeg, Manitoba, with the highest number of Indigenous residents in a major Canadian city. First Nations gather at the Forks, site of the earliest human habitation in the country. In keeping with Indigenous tradition, all are welcome to the celebration. This year, the event will be broadcast across Canada from eight different locations, showcasing the talents of our Indigenous peoples. Matthew Manias is a blind 16-year-old musician from Garden Hill, Manitoba. Born blind, Matthew has made the two-hour flight to take in the festivities. Hey, my name is Matthew Manias. I'm from Garden Hill First Nation, and I'm here in Winnipeg at the Forks to celebrate. Aboriginal day life. This is kind of a little family vacation with me, my mom, my stepdad, and my younger brother and my nephew. So I think this is going to be great. I have a good feeling about this trip. We invited Matthew and his family to celebrate his Indigenous culture and participate in a documentary about a young musician who's overcoming his disability while chasing his dream. Having no sight, it really well, I think it kind of affects me, but not in the um, negative way. I think it affects me in a positive way to like, because I've, I love, I love sounds. Um, so like creating a sound, creating music is for me, is just a wonderful thing. And it's like, indescribable. <laughs> something to bring you up to find the light open your eyes and see who you are so essentially help you see is a music video that um, talks about the um, First Nations and how like people on the outside are like they're a bit blinded to what us First Nations we go through and, and like there's a lot of things that happen within the First Nations reserves and the communities and that that people need to be aware of and that video is just talking about that and not only that but to like stay positive as quoted from the song let our voices help you see Tiny community built up depression with no opportunity. Dug a little deeper to find what was true to me. Found my vision inside what the future sees. Taking this chance to expression. National Aboriginal Day, I haven't experienced it um, as in like here in Winnipeg. Matthew and his friend Ben arrive at the Forks as crews set up the day before the big celebration. For a young man from a remote Manitoba reserve, this is an opportunity to explore his culture. Yeah, yeah this is like um, a colorful teepee. There's some yellow, red, blue. Oh, um, cool. Coolidge. Maybe you can uh, actually, there's like. Oh, cool. Is this an actual teepee that people yes, can Yes, it is. Cool. And these are like little sticks that keep it up. So Aboriginal. Yes. And like, like there's, uh, you know how it works, right? There's like these little. Um, I've seen someone make a. Um, a TP out of a uh, popsicle sticks. Popsicle sticks? Oh yeah, it's it's kind of, yeah, I guess it's like that, yeah. <clears throat> this is actually pretty cool. Yeah. And stuff. Honestly, I think tomorrow would be exciting. Like, I think it'll be exciting. Yeah, I think so. I'm like getting to meet like people, especially like different Aboriginal yeah. musicians or something like that. To have like conversations with these musicians, I think it will be helpful in a way not only for like my confidence, to like boost my confidence in like my music, but I think that this will be an opportunity for me to like, who knows, maybe I'll even talk to some of these musicians after this whole thing is done and then collaborations might start up, who knows? And I'm actually excited for this.
Matthew wants to stay a bit longer to listen to some of the bands do a sound check. In a few moments, with one chance encounter, his life is about to change when Matthew meets Nelly Furtado. Hi, I'm Nelly. How nice are you? to meet you. Yeah, you too. What's up? So you rap, huh? I'm a rapper. I'm a singer. I'm a musician. Nice. What do you play? Um, I play a little bit of um, guitar and a little bit yeah? of piano and a little bit of drums. Nice. And I also produce a little bit of music. You do? You I do a little bit of music. I, I, yeah, I do a little bit of a little oh, bit of everything. Huh? You should sing right now. <laughs> uh, that was kind of on the spot, but uh, but thank you. Yeah, are you sure? Okay, well think about it. Who no knows? pressure though. Yeah. No pressure. You never know, right? You might yeah. hear something. And yeah. You're like, oh, I could sing on that. A couple notes. Yeah. I've I've had people sing on stage that never sing in, in, in front of people. So you've already done that. So you're already two steps ahead of most of my featured performers. <laughs> yeah. There's no criteria, just love and music and... Music is awesome. Because people will be happy to see you. That's all that matters. They'll be yeah. excited and supportive of you coming on stage yeah. if you want to, maybe, if you feel comfortable, you had to feel comfortable with it, but I think you can do it. Nelly Furtado is a Grammy-winning Canadian music star who has sold millions of albums internationally, whose career has spanned two decades. During their conversation, Matthew samples his recent song, which sounds very familiar to the pop music diva. Wait a second, wait a second. I heard you guys talking on CBC. Yeah, yeah I was this on is CBC. A good song. I heard wait, you, on the radio. you you wait you wait, what you've heard on the radio? Where? When? Oh my god! We were totally supposed to meet. Our community will return after the break. We now return to our community. A photo op with Nelly leads to an unbelievable opportunity for Matthew. Yeah. Sweet. How would you feel about doing um, a different version with just guitar and drums? We could practice it. We, we can keep it real simple. Just there won't be as much pressure for you to come in, you know, in all the parts. Yeah. yeah. It might be easier for you. Why don't you do that, Matthew? Um, sure. Time. We're you still only, getting sound. You only get one of these kind of opportunities in a lifetime. <laughs> and yeah, you, it's you, true. You hop on the bus when it stops. That's good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. See mom's, mom's oh, there. We get mom's okay. vote? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Your mom says you have to show me. <laughs> With a little encouragement from his family, Matthew finds the courage to join Nelly and her band on stage for the sound check and perform his song. Open your eyes, not a helpless soul When I was rock bottom, I never felt so low It was so hard to say, put emotions behind me Hidden in darkness for someone to find me I quit so much, I'm trapped in the maze I thought to myself, will anything change? I grew a little older, a bit of my thoughts And life is a choice, so I'll give it my all Go, go change, don't give up, let's just live Get stuck on a drink, God in hell, let's shout and sing Speak right to our heart to get the best of me Put some light where the dark is And let our voices help you see Matthew and Nelly's beautiful duet is not the end of Matthew's incredible journey as it takes another twist when Nellie invites him to join her on stage tomorrow night for the National Indigenous Day broadcast to perform his song for a national television audience on APTN. Yeah, brother. Give it up for Matthew Monia. That was so dope. Tomorrow, 
promises to be the most important day in Matthew's career. There's only one catch. Day breaks, and the Indigenous Day celebrations begin with a prayer from an elder. Unfortunately, as the prayer begins, so does the rain. Backstage, negotiations begin, but it looks like Matthew may not be able to perform that evening unless a last-minute contract can be drawn up. Unaware of the contract snag, Matthew continues to celebrate in spite of the weather. He watches seven-year-old Riley Sandberg, who braves the poor weather and entertains the crowd with her hoop dancing skills. The hoop dancer had to perform in the rain. And despite like performing in the rain, despite all the slipperiness on the stage, she did it. And that's I, that I think is an absolute crazy yet outstanding thing to do. Traditional round dance brings young and old together as it has for centuries in indigenous culture. Originally a healing dance, the round dance now serves both social and ceremonial functions. The leading singers perform with traditional hand drums as they sing in unison, and the dancers join hands symbolizing equality for all participants. As the dance continues, the circle grows in size, encompassing all members of the community. Matthew and Ben join in the festivities as part of the indigenous family. Meanwhile, the team behind the scenes works feverishly to resolve the contract issues. Matthew's performance that evening is still in doubt. No indigenous celebration would be complete without a powwow. Originally important in resisting cultural assimilation, the powwow became an expression of joy and unity for both indigenous and non-indigenous peoples to come together in peace to celebrate tradition and enduring culture. Drums, jingles, and color spring to life as the elders in their traditional handmade costumes and the youngsters in an audible outfit known as a jingle dress dance in an open competition for the judges and the audience. Performers come from reserves from across the province for an opportunity to dance, compete, and celebrate as they commemorate this important day in indigenous culture. In another tent, a bannock competition is underway. Made with a hand-formed dough, bannock has been a staple of indigenous communities for centuries and can be credited to helping many early Europeans survive the long, cold Canadian winters. Our community will return after the break. We now return to our community. Nice to meet you. My name is Matthew. Matthew, I'm Kelly. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Nice to meet you. Late in the day, the contract is signed, and Matthew has become the media story of Indigenous Day as he speaks to a multitude of reporters and radio hosts throughout the day. The whole story behind this and what went on last night and supposed to go on later today. So, um, originally, I, I got here um, right after dinner. No, I I heard that you got to meet a pretty famous musician yesterday, uh, Nelly Furtado. Can you talk a little bit about meeting her? Meeting Nelly Furtado yesterday was awesome. Um, she had this great, awesome personality. personality. You, got a, you, got a, you got a big day today. You're going to be performing, singing live on stage with Nelly Furtado later this evening. What's that like for you to be able to sing with Nelly Furtado? Uh, singing with Nelly Furtado, I think that this is going to be awesome. Um, I'm actually pumped for that and yeah. When I was backstage, I was thinking that this is it. This opportunity never comes around. 
I, I remember thinking back to the um, soundtrack. Honestly, I'm glad I said yes because I've had the honor of performing alongside someone who sold her albums. And um, it, was, it was just amazing. The thought of being in front of a big crowd was, it was a bit mind nerving, but I kept myself, I tried to keep myself as calm as possible. I reminded myself I can do it. Nelly, with some help from hoop dancer Tony, makes him feel right at home. Right before Nelly was supposed to go on, that was me, um, Nelly, and a group of dancers. And we were backstage at the time. Nelly pulled me over to the group. She was like, come on, come for a group huddle. Hey, uh, hey, Matthew. Yeah. Do you want to come over here in the huddle? Yeah. Tony yeah. just had yeah. an inspirational speech for all of us. No. If Tony's around, we're good. We'll all have a great show. Yeah. And what he said was just absolutely amazing. What he said, and I quote from him, what you're going to do today, it's for the best to think of someone, think of the elders, think of people that you're doing this for, that you're who you're representing. And I just thought of my, the closest people to me. That's what helped me to get through this. The Asher and Stompers warm up the audience as Matthew awaits just off stage for Nellie's performance to begin and for Nellie to introduce Matthew and his story. Uh, two weeks ago, I was uh, listening to the radio. I was driving, and I was listening to, I think it was CBC. I was kind of hanging out listening to the, the show, and uh, um, I heard this song. It's called uh, Help You See, and it was from some kids from Garden Hill. And I heard the story of how they learned how to sing and record and produce and use their talent and their creativity and to create something so special. And I was so moved by this story and I said, oh man, it'd be so cool to meet these kids. Guess what happened? Yesterday, yesterday, guess who was here and said they wanted to meet me? Matthew Monias, who's on the song, the Garden Hill song. So I said, group here with me, yeah, because I know some of them are on Garden Hill, but this one's for everybody in Garden Hill. Welcome to the stage, Matthew Monius! Yeah. 
Well, not only I really do thank you for the opportunity, you have no idea how much this means to me. It was fun, and who knows, maybe we'll cross paths again. And if we do cross paths again, it'll be nice to see her. It'll be nice to see and hear your voice again. Nellie and Matthew did cross paths again at We Day in Ottawa, when Nellie invited him on stage to perform in front of the Prime Minister and other dignitaries. Producers writer Scott McKay, Stephen J. Payne. Director Stephen J. Payne. Director of Photography Charles Levac. Camera operators Dan Bowie, Scott McKay. Narrator Jim Van Horn. Editor Scott McKay, Andrew Antonello. Integrated Describe Video Specialist Emily Harding. Audio Post Bruce Baclarian. President and CEO David Arrington. Copyright 2017, Accessible Media Incorporated. <laughs>